It's Friday. <laughs> it is Friday. With the holiday falling on Monday, this was a short work week for many. Short week, work week for Teresa included. And, and me, so that explains a lot. But there was no shortage of pictures and videos in a reported inbox. Here now, this week's reported recap. The skies lit up with fireworks this week. We got pictures from Veronica and Dennis in Derby, Dave and Scott in Stratford, Amanda in Groton, Steve in Colchester, and Nelson in New Haven, to name just a few. But fireworks weren't the only reason cameras around Connecticut were pointed skyward. Rose might have missed the Goodyear blimp over Bristol if she weren't looking up. Joanne captured some lightning Wednesday in Manchester. Tom sent us a sensational sunrise from Guilford. This beautiful sunset is from Cheryl Ann, and this one is from Lily. And several of you sent shots of these pretty puffy clouds. It was boat weather to be sure. Dick saw some tall ships leaving Bridgeport Tuesday morning. And Bert wondered where the smoke was coming from as he boated past Waterford. Could have been this fire spotted by Nancy on 4th Avenue in Waterford. We also got shots of a Tuesday night fire in East Haven and a burned out truck backing up traffic in Danbury. Traffic was tied up because of a crash on 91 Saturday. Erica and Benjamin sent pictures. Jimmy snapped a shot of a Sunday night crash in Waterbury, Route 8. And we got this from Waterbury where a tall truck tried to get under a not so tall bridge. We got our usual assortment of animals, including a rabbit, a bear, and some circus animals at the Trumbull Mall. Unusual, too, like this oleander hawk moth, which Jamie says is usually found in Africa and Asia, not in Shelton. And how about this? Seymour, the sea bluff beach monster in West Haven, sent to us by Rachel. This holiday week, Sergio and Paula showed us little ones celebrating their first fourth, while Lynn and Fairfield shared a group of seniors who collectively have enjoyed more than 600. And we saw flags flying above Fort Griswold, colored in chalk by Joe on his driveway in East Haven, and baked inside Connie's cake. Red, white, and blue proudly displayed, whether above a gathering in Madison or in the hand of a little girl walking with her grandmother.